Pig Pig has some pretty big ideas that I can't wait to tell you about. This is Ann Angelo Webb, the Animal Intuitive, and this is the Animal Intuitive Show, where we have weekly episodes about animal communication, natural pet care, and interviews with experts in the fields of animal care and advocacy. Please do me a favor, and if you enjoy this episode, please like or subscribe. It helps the show a lot to beat the YouTube beast algorithm. Come on, all you doggies, won't you walk with me? I'm the puppet, 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 puppet dog. Pig Pig was found by one of my cousin's employees at her horse farm in Houston, Texas. And now just for the record, my cousin and I did not communicate about anything that was taking place on her farm or Pig Pig. And I really only knew that my cousin had a pig at this point, but I didn't know any of the details about anything that was going on. Pig Pig is a female Julianne pot-bellied pig. And my cousin let me know that she needed a little bit of help because Pig Pig has been wandering off the farm and going into a neighbor's property. And the neighbor apparently isn't too thrilled about that. So she is going to have to build some kind of pen for Pig Pig. She didn't really want to have to do that, but it's for Pig Pig safety. And she wants to find out how to make Pig Pig happy in this situation. I tuned into Pig Pig and the first thing that Pig Pig talked about was she would like to have a male, she said, and she would like to have babies. And I let my cousin know about that. And she said, well, that's not a surprise because she's actually in heat right now. So I asked my cousin, well, what is the possibility of Pig Pig having babies? Is she going to, you know, breed her or whatever you call it in the pig world? And she said, no, unfortunately, she isn't going to be able to do that. And she can't spay her either. The vet told my cousin that uh, Pig Pig is too big to do that. I guess it's rather dangerous at this point. So I spoke with Pig Pig about it. I let her know that... It could be, you know, dangerous and they have to not spay her. And she is probably going to go through these bouts of really wanting to have little pigs. Uh, But unfortunately, my cousin can't accommodate that. And Pig Pig is kind of depressed about this. So I asked her, what could we do to help you? Um, She said that she would like to have some kind of little one to look after. And she said she actually had the feeling that there was a little one coming. So I asked my cousin about that. I said, is there um, a horse who's maybe having a baby soon? And she said, no, but that's also not surprising because that very same day, uh, a foster dog, a German shepherd, was actually going to be having puppies on the property. So I brought that up with Pig Pig and she said she would be interested in getting to know a puppy and my cousin said that she could have Pig Pig introduced to the puppy. She did do that today actually. Um, No surprise the puppy's mom wasn't thrilled about the pig um, but Pig Pig was interested in the puppy. So this might be something to revisit as the puppy maybe gets a little bit older and and, you know maybe not so the mother isn't so uh, wanting her under her her thumb her paw whatever so um my cousin also wanted to know you know what's going on with this wandering off the property and you know pig pig just said to me that she is attracted to a scent at the neighbors um kind of a mystery but she said there was something of a a blood smell and the word hunter came up so my cousin doesn't really i don't think she knows but you know there was something going on with that that she's attracted to what could make her feel better about a little bit more about just being on this property and she said i really feel the desire to dig and i did get the word like truffles and um something about a sprout a plant and she said that she felt like this had something to do with actually her relationship with my cousin and that there was some kind of destiny in the fact that the two of them met she feels like there's something in this that is going to be happening down the line, but just hasn't unfolded yet. Pig Pig is pretty new there. Um, she still she has incorporated herself into their lives, but she's still relatively new. So um, 
she actually comes into their office and um, into their home, I believe, at times. So she's really, you know, cared for and loved. And I guess there's more to their relationship. But sometimes when you're communicating with an animal, you get information about something that they sense or that they feel or know about their relationship that is kind of in the, the beginning stages. And that's what I felt was going on. There's something about her relationship with my cousin that she's come to her and there's something more to it that perhaps could even be another um, a field of work or um, an addition to the work she does on this horse farm. And in fact, my cousin had you know touched in with Pig Pig, done a little bit of communication with her and she told me at that point that she was getting hedges. So there was something green there too with her. Um, so we'll see what happens and maybe I'll be able to report on that if, you know, when, when that unfolds. Pig Pig did also mention that she felt, um, again with the land, that she felt like she was really connected to the property and felt like she should take on a more uh, matriarchal role. And this probably connects with her maybe being in heat and wanting little piglets. But it felt to me like she kind of wanted a, a bigger role and a, almost like a title in a sense. Um, and I let my cousin know about this. So she said, you know, we'll see about that, what we can do. I don't know about her being the matriarch, but, you know, perhaps that will be something that they can find a way to help her with. And she also said she would like toys in her pen. She'd like to have something to play with. And especially if she does have a young one there and there might be a possibility of a little pig. So my cousin is looking into that as well. Um, so they might be able to, to play a little bit in the pen and my cousin's looking into toys for her. So let me know below. Do you think Pig Pig should be given the title of matriarch of my cousin's horse farm? If you'd like to check out my website, it's intuitivetouchanimalcare.com where I have information about everything I do, animal communication, uh, acupressure for animals, massage for animals. I am board certified nationally in both of those. Energy work, essential oils, and CBDs. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Rub my belly. Rub my belly. Rub my belly.